Hi good this is developer today we are going to cover facebook login google login and phone login uh, with firebase in this tutorial we are going to completely cover facebook login so let's start with new uh, project i have create new project with swift i'm not selecting storyboard just create choose location of your project and click on create button so this is your project by default now I will install pod in this project. I will copy the path of this project command C on Mac and paste into terminal with CD and then run pod init command. After pod init run pod install. Now open your folder and click on X space. Now you will see a new project with pod file below. Now what we are going to do this is the launcher screen of your project and here I am going to add one image uh, just normal you can add any image whatever you want give the constraint center horizontal center vertical true true and add one image I just rename firebase image and I will include this image into my launcher screen so I will select firebase and click ok so this is my launcher screen of my application very good now we will run and see the output this is the output of launcher screen so that's not actually our task our task is facebook login so here we have one simple design where i have two three buttons facebook google and a phone i will create a new project in firebase console the website name is console.firebase.google.com create project name firebase tute click on continue continue select uh, you can select any or if you have any google analytics account i have that's why i have selected it will take some time one 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 come on come on so it's going to complete now our next step is click on continue go to ios put your ios bundle id in your project setting general copy and paste there uh, give your application name click on register app now it will generate one json info file append this into your uh, root folder great copy now so in finder this file is exist into our project next now uh, they have given some command we have already run so I just add pod firebase slash analytics in my pod file that is not yes it is my pod file here I will add I have add pod analytics file and now I will run pod install command so these library got installed into my project that's great now build my project control build click on next and the next step is configure firebase into the project now i will write two line in my project import firebase and another line is firebase dot configure configure is a abstract method of firebase it will take some time okay now our project is completely set up with firebase now we will enable facebook login into our project there is uh, some uh, in uh, linked with uh, Facebook so we will enable Facebook login and for that we require our application ID for that we have to create one more uh, one application I click create application I give the name of my application is just a tute and this is my email ID I just give this letter A T W Q U E Q U E 
click on submit now my application is successfully created it's not useful just click uh, copy your application id now for secret id we have to go setting not dashboard even setting click on basics and open this is uh, facebook password even save changes copy and paste into firebase now below is the link you need to paste this link into your uh, fa developer facebook account save changes dashboard that's it save so our completely facebook login has been enabled into firebase now there is one more step add these line i will mention these uh, line and tutorial into the description of this video great i add three library bot facebook login and uh, core kit of facebook now i will attach references of all these three button open drag and drop give the name fb action same for google action but google and uh, phone number authentication we will cover into the next tutorial in this tutorial we are going to cover only facebook login connect that's great now our next step is to go through with the code here i will add one more label so that we can show the status of user is it login or logged out just give some constraint to fix the view it's completely depend on your design i here is only one task facebook login that's it different uh, things is depend on completely on your requirement decrease some size so it will be visible great that's cool now i will assign the label of this uh, i will assign outlet of this label i'll be login status great now and this is the our fb action code inside that login manager i will give this code into description of this here login manager with the help of login manager we permission we take the permission of public profile and email so facebook will provide email and public profile whatever it may be phone number of user it may be email address of user it may be photos whatever is public pro profile it will bring complete things and this is the function for uh, validating the uh, already user login so go through let's see the output reload constraint that's great and we are at the end of this tutorial now i am taking the sign out button so you can also perform sign out action after uh, google uh, after facebook login take some constraint is change the name with sign out first sign out button layout 
and then action button sign out action I will write some line of code inside that you can see on your screen sign out label false true that's great now you can see here display name is coming default so here is some one minor changes we have to add this function as I have mentioned previously and call this function from login manager that's great now it will validate, validate you completely and add self before the function name now if you will run your application you will see the output Facebook continue that's great I'm logging as with my name sign out so it's working as expect, expected I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll uh, you understood how we can perform a login operation on Facebook via Firebase if you like this video please uh, click on like button if you dislike this video click on dislike button and also try to subscribe my channel so that you will be updated with upcoming videos these all are the codes what I have used in my tutorial I will share you link so that it will be very easy for you so guys once again thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoy so please subscribe my channel if you like it thanks thanks a lot